My mother and father took us to Atlantic City. At that time, nightclubs were not like today. Nightclubs had family people. You could bring your children. You could. They had a line of chorus girls, uh, fully dressed, a comic, a singer, a dancer. And I sang with her. That's a scene from the new documentary about legendary entertainer Rose Marie. It's called Wait for Your Laugh. It's a story of fame, love, and tragedy. Another Hollywood legend played a big part in the documentary. Peter Marshall is here along with director Jason Wise. Thank you, gentlemen, both for being here. My goodness, I was telling you earlier, I've seen 35 minutes of the film only, and just this really delves into the history of Hollywood, doesn't yeah, it? And she started it all. I mean, she was as big on radio as uh, Shirley Temple was in film. Mm -hmm. You know, Baby Rosemary at the age of three and four. As a kid, uh, we, uh, we have a three-year difference. She's 94, I'm 91. So when I was around 10 or 11, I remember baby Rosemary. I mean, she was that huge. Right? Oh, well, of course. And we've been pals for a long time. Now, of course, she was on Hollywood Squares for she, many years, a show that you hosted. Absolutely. So you, you really have gone through or through many, many decades of, of her career and your career. Yeah, well, uh, I was in nightclubs for many years. I started as a, as a boy singer with mm -hmm. bands, but I did nightclubs for many years with Tommy Noonan and Noonan and Marshall, and she was Rosemary, and we used to follow each other around, and I knew Bobby, her husband, Guy. I worked uh, at NBC with him when he was with the Les Brown Band, and I did a, a special with Gordon Jenkins. And, but we've known each other. We're pals. I love her to death, and she's just the best, mm -hmm. and so doggone talented. And this guy just wrote, just wrote and directed a great documentary on her. Jason, what was about Rosemary that attracted you to her? I, I mean, what attracted me is the fact that she literally has gone through every form of entertainment mm -hmm. from vaudeville to computer animation was her last job so i mean you're talking about somebody you can trace the exact path of how we entertain ourselves all the way going back to, to pre the invention of radio and watching what i've seen so far it's amazing her memory her recall about specifics conversations she had with people she remembers everything oh it's astounding i mean she literally is a 30 year old in in a 94 year old's body seriously yeah. well she's been in the business 91 years <laughs> what is it about longevity? Obviously, you've been in the business a long time as well. What do you think keeps somebody going so long? I mean, she's getting the record of the entertainer who's been in showbiz the longest. Well, uh, first of all, you're very insecure to begin with. You know, <laughs> no education, so it's all going to end tomorrow. So you just keep plugging along, <laughs> plugging along. And she's 94 years of age, and she's still looking for her next job. Is she's that right? just the most amazing woman. And. Uh, She's very special. You're not going to find many Rosemarys anymore. And I don't think a lot of people know about her as no. as much as this documentary is showing. I did it. I knew her from Hollywood Squares, well, Squares and the Van Dyke, Dyke Show. show and, but yeah, right. this is this is show business. This is the show I mean, business name. This, you're, you're talking about mobsters. I mean, she's one of the. She probably is the last person alive who knows Al Capone. Knew mm -hmm. him intimately. Uh -huh. Bugsy Siegel. But you're also talking about a woman who fought her way through every conceivable predicament you can be put in. She is. The greatest role model and the greatest, I would say, now at this point, kind of untold story, even though everybody should know who she is. Mm -hmm. um, Rosemary is a very, very, very important story. For and when you think of the time she started, women's rights, uh, the role of women in, in society at the time, she really did fight through a lot of uh, Absolutely. It's very poignant. Right? What, what she had to deal with is very poignant today. And her family. Around. I mean, her dad was a gangster. He yeah. took all of her money. He had another family. I mean, it... Uh, it's a great documentary, and how this young kid figured it out and to, to, to do something like that just amazes me. He wow. and his wife, Christina, uh, we have to plug Christina because she wrote <laughs> the script and she's as, mm -hmm. as, as important to this project as, as Jason is. So we're talking about the project. We're excited about it. Where can people see it, Jason? So it comes out in Los Angeles. It's big for us uh, this Friday. Uh, Egyptian Theater. Uh, with lots of Q&As, we have Lemley Royal, uh, Lemley mm -hmm. Town Center, and tickets are honestly selling very, very, very fast. It's Well, Dick Van Dyke's going to do his thing. Dick Van Dyke, Reiner, Carl I'm, Reiner, legends will be there. I'm, at I'm going to be at the Encino Town Center along with uh, Tom Bergeron and, and I think, yeah. Tom, and, and Roe. We wouldn't let anybody under the age of 90 be in the film. It was a, <laughs> it was a very well, you did a great job, Jason and Peter. Thank you so much. For more information about Wait for Your Laugh and where you can see it, and Rosemary in person, go to kcal9.com, click Scene on TV. Sandy, as I said, I'm only 35 minutes in and I'm hooked, so yeah, can't wait to see the rest. It yeah. sounds great. All mm -hmm. right, thanks, guys.